And I never knew I could be so happy. And I never knew I'd be. What you gonna do when your back's against the wall? What's up, guys? It's your girl. Okay, today guys I'm gonna be coming to you guys with a different kind of video obviously like I told you in my other video I'm gonna be doing some new things I wanted to show you guys the books that I have been reading um, recently or that I'm gonna be reading this month I'll also be sharing with you some of the books that I've already read this month so first we'll start off with the book that I've already read this month this is it if you guys don't know I, it might be backward I don't know how this whole thing how that works but it's called choices and it's by Stacy and Paula Reinhardt and like it says on here it says finding God's way in dating sex singleness in marriage a lot of people this year um, have been complaining about being single have been complaining about their dating lives in marriage and if you need guidance in those areas and especially biblical guidance in a book because obviously it's all in his word but if you need something a little bit more specific pick this book up obviously there's plenty more books but this is just one that I have read that I think is amazing it's a married couple so they're basically tackling all of the issues in singleness in dating or courtship and marriage so you guys I really want you guys to pick this up I don't really want to tell you about it because I want you to read it for yourselves everyone has their own opinion but to me this book was so helpful especially me being a single person it it, it helps a lot it helps to keep you not, I don't want to say content you know because a lot of people strive to be content in their singleness but I just say that it, it helps you to um, be prepared to be single steps on how to be single <sighs> not even gonna say nothing I'm just next book I am actually currently reading right now it is called surprised by a loving God not who I imagined it's by Margot Starbuck if you want to know what it looks like First off, this book was like $2. My cousin got it for me. Shout out to her. I heard a couple of people have Ollie's in their state. So this was at Ollie's for like $2, $3. Really, really cheap. And it's so far an amazing book. It tackles a lot of issues within ourselves. Um, it makes you think about things a lot differently than the average person. And for those people who overthink things and for those people who don't understand um, maybe why they transfer old emotions and feelings and um, experiences with other relationships and not even like you know dating but like friendship relationships or even their relationship with God and it helps you to see how you should see things as well so pick this book up so this book I have really been wanting to read for so long I've never picked it up and I don't know why it's been in my room for maybe a few months now but I've really been wanting to read it and it's this book a lot of you probably have read this in high school to be honest but um, yeah I'm late I know the autobiography of Malcolm X and I've been hearing a lot a lot of talk about it and I've just been really interested in to see you know he's always been known as this violent man but I do think that he had his reasons for violence not saying that you know violence is the answer all the time or at all I really wanted to read up on what this man was about instead of you know going by what I did here in school in my classes in life in general I wanted to seek an understanding for myself so I'm planning on reading that this month and if you guys want to join me let me know so this next book my dad's a pastor so he has plenty 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 of books 
and I just like pick them up and I read them. This book is called The Secret of Happiness by Billy Graham. This is what it looks like. It's like barely nothing, but you know, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. The thing that really drew me to the book obviously was because there was like nothing but a signature on the front. So yeah, I really didn't even know what the book was about. It just looked like, oh, okay, let me pick it up. I think it's gonna be interesting. The Secret of Happiness, right? What is it? Jesus? Huh? This last book that I'll probably be reading this month is called The Authentic Gospel of Jesus by Geza Vermes. I don't, don't, you know, get me if it's not right let me hold it up some more mind you that's not Jesus but I you know that's not what he really looks like per se because the thing that really made me want to pick this book up was um this book this book I'm currently reading right now because in this book it talks a lot about how people depict God they depict God as people that they see in their everyday life. So I thought about it like, wow, I never knew people would think that since their mom was angry, God was angry, you know? So when I was thinking about that, I wanted to see, well, what is Jesus, you know? He's always, to me, been this really compassionate and loving person. But is that, you know, is there more to that that I don't know? Just getting another getting another opinion on it and um, just reading, just getting some knowledge and then trying to line it up with scripture and all of that. But that's what made me want to pick this book up. And okay, on the back, it says this book was like $10, but I'm pretty sure it's old enough now to where you might get it for like two or three. Let me know in the comments if you want me to put all of the books um, link to like Amazon or eBay so you guys can just straight shoot to get those books. Thanks guys. See y'all. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe to this channel. And I love y'all. Peace. So, so much more because of your life.